Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, Brian here, back for with another pickup video today. Um, got a mixed bag here. I got pickups from uh, Goodwill. Uh, one thing from Best Buy. A couple things from A Hope's Treasures. Uh, the one I don't usually go to very often. A couple of Dollar Tree titles. I was in a different area this morning. And then pickups from Wonder Book and Video. And then I got a couple things from Spirit when I came home last night. So I'm going to dive right on in. So I'll start with the Goodwill. I only got two titles here. One for me and one for my brother. So I picked up the Disney version of Annie on DVD. I uh, don't remember what year this came out, but it stars Kathy Bates and Alan Cumming. So, I, I know he was looking for it, so I picked it up. Uh, it's in good shape. And this Goodwill actually lowered their prices, so I, I was happy about that. Uh, DVDs used to be $2.99 each, now they're $1.99. And then Blu-rays are supposed to be $2.99, but the lady rang this one up for me at $1.99, which is perfectly okay. Uh, and that is uh, Doomsday. I have this on DVD, so this is an upgrade for me. Uh, yeah, it even has like the insert and everything, so that was nice. It even still has the seal on it. Okay, so Best Buy. I didn't, I was trying to find that Halloween 4K, but I guess they pulled it before, they caught it before they put it out, because that's supposed to come out until um, this Tuesday, not last Tuesday, but whatever. So, I was looking around, and I came across this title for $5.99, and I figured I'd pick it up, add it to my collection, that is uh, Disney's Haunted Mansion on Blu-ray. I saw, I haven't opened it yet, but this is an upgrade for me as well. So I'm glad to have that in the collection. All right, so I went to my, to the Hope's Treasures on the way home from work yesterday. Well, there's like flies in here. Um, they didn't have a whole lot going on in there, but I picked up three titles. Um, this one here is an all-region disc. I don't know exactly where this one's from. Uh, doesn't say, but it's that, I think it might be Australia. I'm not 100% on it though. But anyway, it's the DVD of, uh, I didn't even say what year this is from. Uh, Lost Command, uh, starring Anthony Quinn, George Siegel, uh, Alan Delon and Michelle Morgan. This is a war film, apparent from my understanding. Um, also starring Claudia Cardinal. This is directed by Mark Robson. So let me know in the comments below if you've seen this and what year it's from. I mean, I'll, I'll look it up after this, but if you guys know, let me know. Uh, one Kino title on DVD, uh, directed by Michael Mann, uh, starring Peter Strauss, and that is uh, the Jericho Mile. So you can see it is a Kino Studio Classics DVD. 1979, 97 minutes. Also starring Richard Lawson. Oh, Brian Dennehy is in here. Brian, Billy Greenbush, Ed Lauder. Jeffrey Lewis, Beverly, Beverly Todd, Michael Prince, and Miguel Pinero. So, never seen it, but it's got a good cast. And then I found, they had quite a few Blu-rays in there, but a lot of common stuff you'll find at like Dollar Tree or Big Lots or any major retailer. But I picked this one up because I didn't have it in my collection. And that is the uh, Blu-ray DVD, the, the digital is gone. That is Sicario, the nice slipcover. Got all the three of these titles for a dollar, even though it says uh, DVDs are $2, Blu-rays are, I think, three, I don't remember. But yeah, a dollar for each title here, I'll take it. 
all day, any day. All right, so Dollar Tree. Um, this is a different area. Uh, I found three titles. Uh, one of them I'm probably going to end up giving to somebody because I actually already have this title. Uh, I found American Zombie Land. Uh, I already have it in my collection. I forgot I got it from a uh, family video a long time back. So if anybody's looking for this, I'll send it your way. Probably uh, Katie, if you want this, let me know. Uh, found Before I'm Dead. Uh... I've seen other people pick this one up. This is an Echo Bridge release from uh, 2021. It's very strange. They have like new new releases from this year already. So, and then I've seen other people pick this one up, but I didn't see it in my area. And that is uh, Killer Man with Liam Hem Hemsworth. This is the uh, BVS release, uh, French Canadian release. I found a couple of CDs there too. Uh, they're all Halloween uh, themed ones though. And a lot of kids stuff at this one for some reason. It was very strange. But I found uh, Haunted Mansion. This this is nothing to do with Disney. This is a uh, creepy collection of spooky sounds uh, performed on pipe, organ, harpsichord, and piano. Uh, has 10 songs on here. It says it's over 50 minutes, so. I don't think it's, yeah, it's someone else covering these songs. Because you got uh, songs that were um, conducted by uh, Bach, Beethoven, Greg, Bunad, Chopin. And yeah, there's a lot of Bach on here. So yeah, there's the track listing. Sorry for the uh, the glare. Uh, we got the these next two are just sound effects. Uh, this one is 47 minutes long and it is called Fright Night. It's an old Walmart um, cutout, I guess. So I'll get it for a dollar. It's got 49 different sounds on here. And then this one has 99 sounds. This is over an hour. This has. Like, uh, 99, yeah, 99, obviously, 99 tracks, 99 sounds. So if you can read all that, it's probably the most of glare. All right, so let's go to Wonder. So Wonder had, they definitely changed their setup in the store, too. It's very tight now, but they moved all their media together. They had CDs and uh, movies separated and vinyl. Now they have everything together and then they have the books. So it's kind of it's kind of hard to get more than one person down an aisle at a time. So, but it is what it is. Uh, I picked up one CD. Uh, I didn't know who the band was, but it's only 90 cents. Uh, I, get, I don't know if they're local or not. I don't even know what year this came out because there's no year on the in, in the insert or on the back. But the name of the band is Stink Bug. And the name of the scene, the name of the album is, uh, let me see that. Uh, Sweet Tit, apparently, or Sweet It, I don't know. Knowing, the, 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 knowing their sound, it's probably the, the first thing I said. Um, I listened to it on the way home. They sound like a mix between early Nothing Face and Primer 55, but not as good. I mean, I enjoyed it, but I can definitely tell you that it's not as good as the other two bands, in my opinion. I found uh, one uh, TV series and two, um, one four, four feature and one triple feature. So... This one's a little weird, so this is a 1983 television series, uh, eight, only eight episodes in here, but it's three discs. It's called Manimal. This is a, uh, a Shout Factory, 20th Century Fox, Hollywood Classics, and Fabulous Films release. 
from 2015. Now it said it was missing a disc because when you open it, you see that there's a disc missing, but that's not true because disc one's behind the artwork. And then uh, two and three are right there. It even says on the side here, so you see that three disc set. So I got it for a good deal because I thought there was missing disc. So they usually lower the price, but it's my gain, their loss or whatever. So there's Manimal. I got this four movie set here called Blood Hunt. Uh, these are all like, well, three of them are from the 90s. One of them is from the early 2000s. So Demon Under Glass from 2002. How to Slay a Vampire from 1995. Uh, Blood Slaves of the Vampire Wolf from 1995. And then Sorority House Vampires from Hell, 1998. This thing was released in 2004, but yeah, there's the four. They're all, they're, they're on double-sided discs. So one, one move to four, two, two double-sided discs for four movies. And then this was the epic find of the day. Um, I, was, I wasn't I was gonna get it until I looked up to see how much it was really going for online because this was a little bit pricey, but not nearly as pricey as I saw it online. So I figured I'd scoop it up. Now they taped it shut. So they said, if you need, if, you, if it doesn't play for you, you can always bring it back within three weeks and we'll give you a, a refund. All discs are fine. So this is a, uh, Japanese horror triple feature. Uh, it is called the All Night Long Collection, and it says human beings are garbage. Uh, this is a yeah, three volume set. So the first uh, movie is All Night Long. Uh, where's that one? It's, these are all from the 90s. So volume one is from 1992. 1992. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this two is called Atrocity. That is from 1994. And then uh, the final chapter kind of sounds like Friday the 13th. That's from 1996. Uh, all, all films were um, directed by I can, I'm not going to butcher the guy's name. Katsuya Matsum Matsumura Matsumura. I think I got that right. Uh, this particular release is I don't know what year it's from. Does not say. Oh, two thousand three. This was put out by Tokyo Shock. So all three discs and one. This thing goes for like 80 bucks online from what I saw. So I was like, yeah, it's it's definitely worth me picking up to check out. And if I don't like it, I'll always send a, send it, mail it, uh, sell it for close to what it's going for. I usually like to sell my stuff less than what other people are selling it for. So yeah, there's that. And then I'll show you my little spirit haul here I went in for one thing I actually ended up leaving with three but the, the, the one big thing I'll save for last then the other two things I, I, I got on the way out so uh, first up here is a decal with the bride of Frankenstein and it says wifey on it so I thought that was pretty neat they had the squad goals, but it wasn't a sticker. It was a magnet. I wish it was a sticker. I'd definitely get that one. And then I got this nice little Beetlejuice keychain on here with, uh, of course, the snake, the sign, and then, of course, the book of the, the handbook to the, of the National uh, Recently Deceased. So, definitely... Had to snag that up. And then with the final pickup from yesterday is something that I'm looking I look I was looking for and then I guess everyone else was looking for it too, and that is the uh, cotton candy gun blaster from 
Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And yes, it does work. Yes, so I was happy, happy for that. And it was a lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be. So proud to have this in my collection now. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm sure you guys have seen my posts about it on my Instagram. But that is everything I have today. Um, I'm not going to put the gun on top of this stack because I'm sure it would fall. So we'll, uh, we'll leave it right next to me here. Show you guys again. And then here's the rest of my uh, media pickups from the last few days. Mostly horror, some uh, drama, some war, and some family, and then some CDs as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed this short video uh, today. I will catch you guys later. Bye.